We heard the shots. Well, what's the matter, Russ? Was it a bigger workout than you thought? They didn't give me any trouble. You watch it, Washington. It was just an observation, Vince. Well, now that Miriam and her friend are out of the way, as soon as Lance gets back, I'll tell him to find a shovel. There's plenty of land out back for unmarked graves. And for other people to come snooping around, we still don't know why that guy Redline got wise to this place. Relax, Vince. Dead men don't talk. Right, Russ? So they say. Neither did dead women run. You should have got rid of Babs Farley. Take a look at this, Vince. Oh, wait a minute, Vince. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you got there. But whatever it is, I'm sure it can be explained. Good. Sure. Oh, it's written all over his face. <laughs> it's just nice to see them getting along so well. Now, if he can only get through to that other daughter of his. Oh, Amber. <laughs> and you know, I haven't given up on the missus either. I don't know. Seems almost impossible to win that one back. Oh, no, Colin. Remember that nothing's impossible with the Lord. Well, he's found God in his life, but Mama, she mm. won't even speak to him. Oh, that's for now. Thank God Jean and I are back together now. But you know, Mama, no matter how bad things got for us, I was always willing to talk to him. Of course, we never had a problem with drinking. Oh, amen to that. Anybody home? Oh, we were worried to death about you, Gene. Hey. Where have you mm. been? Hi, baby. Hi. Mm. Oh, now, what have you been up to? Oh, please, please. No, one question at a time. One question at a time, Mom. Give me a kiss. Mm. Now, nah, don't try to hide mm. it. We know you've been out looking for Miriam. Oh, believe you, Mom. That would be the last thing that I'd be doing, trying to hide it. Well, tell mm. us what's, what's, what happened, Jean. Oh, well, hey, I do better than that. I've got a good friend of, you, of mine I want you to meet. Hey, 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 you can come on in now. <gasps> Miriam? <laughs> Praise God! Is it you? It's me, Mama. I'm home. Where'd you get these? Gene Redland. Redland? You mean before you shot him? He got it from Miriam. Ah, then Babs Farley was telling the truth because she she claimed she stashed him in Miriam's purse. Look, Vince, anything that two-bed hooker told you. You're getting a little weak in the knees, Ron. How long did you think you could get away with this? With what? Pocketing $750 per drop, for starters. Are you crazy? You made the collections yourself. You saw what we took in. Yeah, but who was making the collections at the drop points before, Rob? Yeah, who, Rob? It was Lance, Vince. Lance has been tipping the scales on us. I think he's had a little help. Yeah, a little, Mr. Innocent. You could be right. No wonder he was so attached to Blue. Or is so attached to you. What was the deal to keep him quiet? 50-50 split? No, oh, no, this is too generous for him, but you should have offered Babs a cut. Then she wouldn't have come to me with these. Look, anything that she told you... Was well worth my time. These prove it. Vince, you gotta listen to me. I was bored with Babs. I told Babs to get lost. She only picked up on you to get back Forget at me. Forget it, Ron. The word is already out on the street about you. Look, it's a lie, Vince. No, it's the truth. Now, you've made a sucker out of me just once too often. Look, can I see those figures? Oh, sure. Be my guest. They look familiar to you, Ron? He means both sets. The ones you usually show him. And the ones you usually don't. I tell you that Lance must have been tampering with these figures. I've never seen half of them before. You got too greedy, Ron. Come on, Vince. Vince. Risk him, Russ. 
What? He's clean. Of course I'm clean. Look, I wouldn't pack a gun with friends. Well, I would if I were you and I was ripping off my friends. Vince, come on. Come on, please. No. No, I don't think I'm going to do it yet. I'll wait till your friend Lance gets back here with the ransom. Then I'll say goodbye to both of you. Help me up, Jean! Help me up! I just look all oh. my hair and everything. Oh. No, not to us. You're the most beautiful sight we've seen in me. Oh, you're alive! Praise God, you're alive! Oh. oh, yeah, that goes double. Oh. Boy, it was close call for both of us. Honey, your head, your heart. Oh, baby, it's nothing. Let me see. Oh. It's just a small price for Miriam's freedom is all. <laughs> oh, honey, well, what happened when you really kidnapped? Yeah, I was kidnapped right right from here in this place. It was the day, I can't even remember Mama, all the oh, details Mama, and everything. Mom, Mom, please, don't bug her with so many questions. Oh, Jean, I almost forgot. I've got, I've got to call my father and let him know that I'm oh, all, hey, all right. Oh, right. I'll, I'll do course, that. Course, I'll do that. I'll do that because I want to talk to him as well. Oh, good, thanks. Thanks. You know, Jean, Jean wrote an uh, uh, article in the Chronicle about you, and we were hoping someone would see it. I know. Oh, he told well, me. honey, you must be just... <laughs> Ain't worn out. Well, as soon as you get that phone call made, you'll just take you right upstairs and get you some hey, hot water. Hey, it's ringing. It's ringing. Oh, let, let me talk. Here you go. <laughs> uh, this is Carpenter Resnan. Daddy? Oh. Miriam? Mary, Miss Harold Webster. Oh, Harold, hello. Uh, where is my father there? No, uh, where are you? Oh, I uh, listen, it's okay, Harold. I'm safe. I'm safe, and I'm here at the Redlands. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm here at the Redlands, and, and I just got here. But how, how did you get to here? Oh, well, Jean brought me here. Oh, where did Daddy go? Because you don't know how much I want to see him. Not half as much as he wants to see you. Now, he went... What? Oh, my. What's, what's wrong? Is he okay? Or, I mean, is no, his he's, heart... No, he's fine, Miriam. It just said... What about you? Are you okay? Yes, I'm here and I am in one piece, but I just want you to have my father call me as soon as he can. Oh, absolutely, just as quick as he walks in the front door, if not sooner. <laughs> uh, is Gene there, Miriam? Yes. Can you put him on, please? Okay. Gene, Mr. Webster wants to speak to you. Yeah, Harold? Gene, uh, look, uh, I, I don't know how in the world you pulled that thing off, but uh, well, my hat is off, do you? <laughs> well, believe me, I had some help. Yeah, look, I... Charles has gone to deliver the ransom. Where? I, oh, I can't go into detail on that right now. Okay, I, I understand. Now, All look, right. I need a favor from you. Hold the press on this just a little bit longer for me. Harold, I don't know if I can do that. Now, this is going to be the biggest story that for the Chronicle that I I've done. I realize that, Gene, but please, just give me enough time to get to Charles, will you? All right, you got my word. Good. That's all I need. I got to go. All right, I'll see you later. Oh, sweetheart, why don't you come on with me and I'll fix you a nice cup of hot soup in the kitchen. Come on, sweetheart. Okay. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Miriam's out of danger. Oh, Babs, you're gonna love this. I can't believe it. Can't believe what, Mr. Webster? Oh, Miss Lucas. Talking to yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I was. I don't know. I wasn't listening. It's sure sign of stress. You and Mr. Carpenter are heading for the same direction. Yeah, how can I get to you, Charles? Oh, but I recommend a strict diet and plenty of exercise. Oh, I'll call him. I'll call him, sure. In the meantime, the a strong cup of coffee will do. Where is it? Where is it? Here we are. No, 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 no. I don't need that, Miss Lucas. I want the phone book. The phone book? Yeah, where is it? Oh, here it is, where it's always been. Thank you. Recreation, roofing, restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Oh, are you meeting Mr. Carpenter for dinner? Uh, no, no, not exactly. Oh, well, wherever he is, he's functioning on an empty stomach. He asked me to make him something to eat, and then he didn't eat it. Busy. Can I uh, be of any assistance? Uh, no, Miss Lucas, I don't think so. This is one call that has to go through. Busy again. I better go down there and see him. Mr. Webster, 
Now, I'm sorry, Ms. Lucas, but uh, this is an emergency. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look, uh, stay by the phone. Uh, if Charles calls, uh, to, to, to tell him not, not to go through with the plan. Not to go through with the plan. That's right. I hope I'm in time. Perfect atmosphere. Mm. Mm. Gil, later. Oh, come on, Amber. Well, now you've ruined everything. Shh, keep your voice down. Mother may be here. It doesn't matter. Your mom likes me anyway. I meant she may be asleep in the next room. I don't want to wake her. I don't either. Mm. Mm. Let me check. Well, not so fast. Just hold on. Now what? You don't want to leave me here all alone now, do you? Mm -hmm. Not unless uh, you'd mm -hmm. like to come with me. <laughs> no. I didn't think so. Why don't you fix us some drinks? Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I can use a little unwinding. More than you already are? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want something to drink? Yes, please. What would you like? Whatever you're having. Okay. How about something that'll warm us up for the rest of the evening? Mm. Hmm? Plenty of ice in here. <laughs> Cute. Mother's in bed. Oh, great. Well, here's to us. She's reading. You're kidding me. She and Lee called it an early night. Um, why? He had some press conference to make tomorrow morning. It's like being thrown to the wolves. Well, I thought all aspiring congressmen should be able to handle the limelight, huh? Well, if he's going to give Wainwright a run for the taxpayer's money, he better be able to. And since when have you been so politically... Conscious? Hmm. Hmm? Mother's upbringing, I guess. I like it. Mm. Hmm. She doesn't mind that you're here, though. She knows I'm here? Yes. You told her? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Amber, why? She asked. Besides, she heard your voice in the first place. Should've shut my mouth. Mm-hmm. It's all right. She promised not to disturb us. <laughs> Very considerate of her, huh? Now, what's wrong? Nothing. Come on, I don't believe you. <sighs> Just to me, you know, being alone with you doesn't include having your mother in the next room. It's all right. Besides, uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone else but us in this room. Come on, Gil. Admit it, you're still a little uptight, aren't Why you? Why shouldn't I be? You know, we gotta tiptoe around here, whisper all the time. Gosh. My mother is more liberal-minded than I am. Besides, I haven't heard a sound coming from her room. Yeah. You know, when she get in her own place anyway? That's what I want to know. You know, come on, sit down. Sit down. <sighs> Let me see if I can ease some of that tension. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Very tight shoulders, Mr. Prescott. Yeah. It's a racket ball. What? And swimming and running and... Uh... Oh, but no more of that. I just found a nice replacement. <laughs> mm, that feels great. I think you are relaxed enough. Oh, don't stop, please. I was just starting to feel at home. There you go. I Keep know, going. I can tell. You reading my mind? Mm, don't need to. We think a lot alike, don't we? What makes you so certain about that? Oh, just the way we compliment each other. Mm. 
Explain, please. Well, it's like geometry. See, here we are, two parallel lines. Mm -hmm. And when we intersect, the result, a right angle. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, here, I'll do your back. <laughs> Where did you acquire that gem of information? From con contracting? Experience. Mm. Experience with whom? You, of course. Right. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. The reason we get along so well mm. is that um, we both agree on no commitments. Very convenient arrangement. Mm -hmm. Which I didn't have to think of myself. You did it. Anyone ever broken your heart? <laughs> Out of the air, you ask me something like that. Well, you're not exempt from vulnerability. As far as I'm concerned, yes, I am. The man with the iron heart. Oh, come on. You want another drink? No. Huh? Come on, you've never really talked about yourself, except for your business. Yeah. Tell me, who are you, Gil Prescott? Someone who's crazy about you, okay? Tell me about your family. Come on, what was it like for you growing up? It was nothing out of the ordinary, Amber. Really. You lost your mother, didn't you? Yeah. Was that rough on you? Your family? We got over it. I mean, there's no pleasure in grief. Scars still haven't left from my father. He might as well be dead. Do you think about her often? She's dead, okay? End of story. I didn't mean to pry. <sighs> you weren't prying. Hey, last call for drinks, huh? No, I've reached my limit. Well, I hope not on our next order of business. Well, that huh? all depends on what that is. A drive. Come on, let's go. Uh, isn't it a little late for a drive? No, not where we're gonna go. Need I ask where? The usual. Mm. King's, the King's Arms. arms. Uh -huh. Come on. Huh? I don't know, Gil, I do have to work tomorrow. I do too. Come on. Why do I do this? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a change of clothes. Okay. Come on, turn green. Jeez. Charles, don't go into that banner just yet. Oh, come on. Oh, bingo. Oh. Hey. I gotta get all the way across town. Uh, all right, let's go. Here you go, buddy. Chocolate eclair. Thanks. Yeah, I see you're reading it, too. What's that? Uh, the article about the homeless puppies. Adopt a pet. You know, the reporter who wrote this article was just in here tonight. Stacy Phillips, do you know her? No, I don't know her. Cute little rascals, aren't they? Yeah, do you have a pet? No, I don't. Yeah, you don't look like the type. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I had a cat once, but it was killed. Ran over in the street. You know... I take one of these myself, except I spend most of my time in here. Animals get lonely, too. Look, why don't you get me another dessert, huh? Before you even finish eating what I just bought you? What's that, not enough, huh? Need a tip or something? There you go, pal. 
Look, when you keep your money, I don't take tips. I own the place. Sure. When I get that 400 grand, I can buy whatever I want. You don't have to go through with it. Are you mad? Now, listen don't you... to me, Charles. Miriam has been rescued. She's safe. How... Did you see her? No, no, but she called from the Redlands. The Redlands? Yeah, I talked to her. Are you positive it was Mim? Absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, Charles. It was Miriam. <laughs> 